I got a phone call. Someone identified himself as a representative of the Social Security Office and that a warrant, a no bail warrant, had been issued for my arrest. I'm 83 years old and it scared me to death. The Social Security imposter scam is very widespread right now. What these scammers are trying to do is they're trying to induce a state of fear. They're trying to make you feel very, very panicked. They actually said federal authorities, including an armed marshal, would appear at my door within the next 24 hours. That had me sort of uh, feeling jittery. Sometimes they'll ratchet up that anxiety by telling you that there are marshals or police officers or sheriff's deputies that are about to arrest you. That's very, very scary for people. Uh, so what they're doing is they're playing on your fear, on your anxiety, and on you wanting to do the right thing. That's how they're going to next try to control the next actions that you take. And they told me to get in, the, in my car, drive to the store, and get uh, a Google Play card and put the $500 on it and give them the number. Once they've got those PIN numbers, they've got your money. So how do you take control back? Well, the first thing you want to do is just stop and take a breath. Take a moment and say, okay, thanks for the call. I need to investigate uh, what's going on here. Hang up the phone. Uh, go talk with somebody that you trust. Do an, uh, a search on the internet. When it happens, let other people know because the more that it's talked about, better armed people are to behave assertively when somebody's behaving aggressively toward them. Since then, I have told everyone that I know and a whole lot of people that I don't know. This scam is hitting all parts of the United States and it is hitting people at every age level, every education level, every income level. If this isn't happening to you, this is happening to your neighbors. This is happening in your community. So if it does happen to you, please talk about it. We know that when people are familiar with scams, they are much less likely to lose money. Report it to the FTC at ftc.gov complaint.